Hi, uh, today's date is the 2nd of July 2017 and I think it might be day 4. Today I am just doing a voiceover today and I'll be showing you just a couple of pictures in relation to the dust issue that I have been talking about. You can see from this pe these pictures um, on screen right now that there is a huge problem with the dust fallout landing on my pool and on the, the chair out the back. Because of the amount of dust that was uh, laying around and the fact that Debbie had grapes growing in her backyard or produce that her children were eating, um, we thought that it would be a good idea if we went and got some laboratory tests done. So we submitted four water samples and four dust samples for analysis of heavy metals, you know, alkalinity and phosphorus. Now we had no idea at all what we should be testing for. For us it was purely hit and miss. We weren't advised what to test for, we didn't know what to test for. The, pool samples, um, the water samples were from um, a fish tank, um, from the pool water, less the scum on the top, and two pool samples, and the grapes. Uh, of concern, which prompted um, some more investigation, was the dust, because nothing really showed up in the um, laboratory report for these water samples. Chromium, copper, lead, mercury, zinc was fine. It was the dust samples. Dust samples were taken from inside the house and laboratory um, from the vacuum cleaner, from the outside chair which you saw the picture of and from inside my daughter's windows. Inside my daughter's windows contained huge amounts of lead and zinc. In fact the lead levels in the vacuum cleaner were 140 on the outside chair was 42 and on the windows were 540 and 590. They said because they were lead windows that that's why there would have been a high amount of lead in there. I don't know how that lead got there. I obviously cleaned my house. There would be no residues other than what was coming in from the outside through the um, open windows and settling in on the tracks where we actually got this from. Now the house was clean when we moved in and of course this was 29th of January 1999 and obviously I would have cleaned you know, from the date that I moved in. So it was actually contained in the dust. There was chromium, copper, lead, mercury and zinc found in all samples um, at high levels. Um, Debbie's grapes didn't show a great deal. However, not being um, trained in this area, I don't know what these measurements mean, but there's a huge difference between 59 or actually 42 and 590 milligrams per kilograms of lead. So that shows that there is actually a lot <laughs> and um, I didn't think that any amount of lead was safe ever. So if you can help me, I've put a copy of the laboratory results at the end of this video. I've probably been looking at them while I've been talking and I hope that they're clear enough for you to read. Um, that's all for today. Thank you. Bye.